If you are interested in supporting the channel and would like a dope set of drip, I have a brand new merch line in the Blackscape store. I already have Ultra Instant Shaggy on there. I already have Absalon Goku, but the newest edition is Super Saiyan 100. That is the first ever Super Saiyan 100 on a t-shirt. Make sure you go ahead and check it out while supplies last. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description below in the top comment. I'm telling you the drip is real. What is up guys, Blackscape here, and today we have the announcement of a brand new character in Dragon. Dragon Ball Super Superhero and this character was not announced in the traditional sense he was announced more in the Marvel sense and what I'm talking about is when Marvel announces characters but they are announced through toys brand new toy sales and I saw these leaks coming from Geekdom 101. He has dropped two videos, one of them called New Character Confirmed and another one called Goku vs Broly Rematch. So after further investigation into the new character confirmed, it looks like there is a new character alongside with Piccolo being announced I believe in April or May around the spring for the new toy line for Dragon Ball Super Superhero and the main takeaway from this is the fact that it isn't it isn't one of the characters that has been already announced so it's somebody completely new who we don't have the name for and when it comes to the new trailer this is actual news because it actually means that there is somebody else that we're first of all not seeing and number two he's important enough or she's important enough to make a character or a toy character for so when it came to this bit of news that i saw honestly the first thing that came to mind is a brand new android an android that is the culmination of what they're trying to accomplish because a wise man once said Dragon Ball Super Superhero is essentially a resurrection of F, but with Cell at the center. And honestly, I think that's 100% accurate. It is 100% Dragon Ball Super's resurrection of F with Cell because all the pieces of bringing Cell or a character that is basically Cell, they're back. Red Ribbon Army, DNA, androids everything seems to be falling in place so a new character that is essentially a cell one-off is definitely plausible in the future especially if they're trying to make a threat big enough that could encompass what we've seen so far in Dragon Ball Super such as Moro, such as Granola, such as Gas, such as Ultra Ego and Ultra Instinct. You need a character that's going to be on that level for the story to be interesting even if it's going to be a slice of life you could say the Battle of Gods was essentially a slice of life story with a destroyer god in the middle, the most powerful being that the Dragon Ball Z universe has ever seen at the center of it. So that's exactly what I'm thinking is going on with this new character. It looks like we're going to be getting somebody brand new. Now, the second video from Geekdom is called Goku vs Broly rematch and originally after seeing the thumbnail it quite literally looked like this was a clip from Dragon Ball Super Superhero of Goku versus Broly something we've never seen before but upon further investigation this is a collaboration this is a almost like a stream video a discussion video with MJX who is a great composer by the way makes awesome tracks I use a lot of them in my second channel they're talking about what Goku vs Broly means in Dragon Ball Super Superhero and so diving deep into that topic personally for me what I believe is going to happen with Broly because we do see Broly in Dragon Ball Super Superhero that's the reason they're talking about him because he actually is in the movie what I believe is going to happen with Broly is that this is going to be the beginning scenes of Dragon Ball Super Superhero we're gonna get 
a call back to where Goku's at. Someone's going to be talking and they're like, where's Goku? And Goku's going to be facing off against Broly. And they're going to be having an epic climactic battle on Beerus's planning. Obviously a training session, but something probably like more intense and more severe than probably should be had on Beerus's planet. And I believe that Broly more than likely is going to showcase the fact that he can control to an extent the Akari state. I believe that's what's gonna happen. And during this beginning animation, I think Goku is going to call it off and Broly is going to struggle to resist to call it off. He's going to be going berserk, but at the same time trying to pull it together until he eventually does, showing that he has been training with Goku for quite some time and is quite adept at controlling Ikari, and that is what all his training, which at this point right now is unknown over the last couple years, has been going toward, the fact that he can control the Ikari state. So that, in my opinion, is going to be the very beginning of Dragon Ball Super Broly. At that point, Goku will leave Beerus' planet, leaving Broly there. Now, if Broly is going to be involved in the rest of the film, that is completely up in the air because nobody actually knows 100%. But what I think is going to happen is that if they believe that... Because honestly, if they're going to have Broly in the film in any capacity, they're going to have him in the beginning to bring in the crowds because Broly was the last movie, bring in the crowds to this new movie because Broly's gonna be in it. That's essentially gonna be it. So you're gonna have that Broly payoff really early on and that's exactly what I just described. Broly's payoff is gonna be very early on and he's going to be almost like a, a, a show a showstopper. That's gonna be the beginning of the film what we've been waiting for and you paid your ticket for. Then after that, we're gonna get into the Red Ribbon Army stuff and the new villain and all the all, all the all the different things that go on with that. But I believe if they don't think that the the ending villain is gonna have the grav they don't have enough confidence or they believe that he's gonna have enough gravitas that main ending villain on his own, they will probably bring Broly back at the end to face off against this villain to stop him. But if they have a lot of confidence in this villain on his own, if they think they have a really good villain that isn't just the same as Cell and that he actually can do things on his own, then they will have Goku and Pan, Gohan, Vegeta, all of them face off against this villain at the very end. More likely we're going to be getting Ultra Instinct back in, in some capacity at the end facing off against this villain. Once that happens, once that's over, once it's the end of the movie, at the very end, which is, in my opinion, probably going to 100% happen, where there is either going to be a, a fiesta, a party, a barbecue, then that's when you're going to get the next clip of Broly, if they have confidence in this villain to be great. And that's, a, that's the main thing. They have to have confidence in this guy that he's going to be amazing, and he may not be. But we'll see. But that's my prediction for Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Um, again, I just saw Gatham's videos and I thought that I would dive deep into this topic and give you guys my interpretation of what's going on here. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of both these videos. This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care, guys. Subscribe for more content. <laughs>